Thank you, Peter. Thank you. 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 The word phantom can mean illusion, but the record-breaking success of the Phantom of the Opera is really quite real. Over the weekend, as Michelle Miller shows us, it marked an unprecedented milestone. It's not every day a show celebrates 25 years on the Great White Way. In fact, it has never happened before. The darkness of the quarter of a century, Phantom of the Opera has been delivering the music of the night at the Majestic Theater. With more than 10,000 performances, it is by far the longest-running Broadway musical of all time. None of us could have possibly known that it would end up being the longest-running show in Broadway. The Phantom was created in 1909 by French writer Gaston LaRue, and the character was first brought to life in a 1925 silent film. But it was the musical that really put the Phantom on the map. The show was played in 145 cities across 27 countries. And in New York alone has grossed nearly $900 million. When the show debuted in January 1988, starring Michael Crawford and Sarah Brightman, its visual effects were considered stunning. Director Hal Prince gave us a tour, even taking us beneath the stage. I mean, is this what most um, pits no. look like? No, of course not. There's usually nothing in the pit, but this show delivers a lot from the floor. Today, those effects, including the scene where a chandelier crashes to the stage, can seem almost quaint. And this is the famous chandelier. I've always hated when people describe the show as about the chandelier because it isn't of course Let's not it is at its heart a love story something that came as a surprise even to the show's composer and writer andrew lloyd weber who along with sarah brightman recorded his recollections for the anniversary celebration i then finding the book in new york reading it one afternoon mm -hmm. and thinking, you know, it's not the same as I remember it. It's not a not a sort of funny thing with somebody coming out, you know, saying boom from behind a chandelier. Mm -hmm. It's actually about a romance. Sierra Bagus is the latest to play the female lead, Christine Daae. It is able to withstand the test of time because it's still current and it's the ultimate underdog story. Music show. Hugh Panera, one of 12 men to play the Phantom, has donned the mask for more than 1,900 performances. I think this show touches all of us on a very deep level that transcends the beautiful score or the scenery or the costumes or the love triangle. I think it hits us on a pretty primal level. When the show first opened in New York, it had already been a hit for two years in London. Still, not all the critics took to it kindly. One reviewer in the New York Times called it psychologically lightweight. Yet, the show not only survived, it has thrived. What makes this appeal to the generation of millennials the same way that it appealed to the 80s set? I just think everybody wants a little idealistic romance in his life. I don't think that will ever change. As long as there are people... They yearn for some connection to other people. For CBS This Morning, I'm Michelle Miller in New York. Nicely done. I've seen Phantom nine times because I love the music so much. Over the years, I've seen it nine times. Somebody comes to town, you want to take them to something good. The music never gets old. But does it change much when you see it nine times? No, it, it, it actually doesn't. It, because I go, Charlie, for the music. I love oh, the music. And Sarah Brightman is one of my favorites.